but for 17 days after the storm is difficult at best. News 13 investigative reporter Jennifer Emmert explains why the state does not have an accurate count and why that's left many families waiting for answers. As the volunteers and rescue squads who mobilized in the days following Helene wind down, finding out who's still unaccounted for can be tough. He loves it up there. It's been 17 days since Katie Trina's family has heard from her brother Christopher. He kind of bounces around the Asheville area, um, kind of just exploring the area. Trina's family based in Florida was in touch with Chris days before. Before the storm, he had a cell phone, but since the storm, nothing. We just have to be hopeful and grateful that the time will come and that we'll find him. They've shared his picture on social media and reported him missing to the United Way and Red Cross. They're grateful for local, state, and federal search efforts and thousands of volunteer hours from organizations like the Buncombe County Rescue Squad. There were thousands of cases that the Register of Deeds worked, um, and I, you know, we had less than two two hundred that were that made the escalated list. Escalated because of the conditions. Those are the ones that you know there was a landslide, so you couldn't access. The bridge was washed out, so you had to hike in. The majority they were able to locate. The majority of them were either well cared for because they were number one prepared. They might be, you know, unaccounted for because they haven't been able to communicate with the outside world. Those they couldn't reach remain on a list now in the hands of the sheriff's office. That's where knowing how many still remain unaccounted for gets tricky. So many groups aided in the effort and have taken reports. You've got the Asheville Police Department, you've got the Black Mountain Police Department, you've got the Sheriff's Department, you've got the State Bureau of Investigation. We had federal search and rescue, state search and rescue, local search and rescue. Each had their own list, and until now, no one's tried to combine them or narrow it down. We're getting to the point where we, we will have one list, uh, but we're just not quite there yet. That will take time, verifying each agency's list again the others and comparing them with the medical examiner's office. Time that seems like an eternity for families waiting for word. Any information would be super helpful and obviously if anyone sees or spots him, um, you know, just telling him that we're all searching for him back home. He's got a large support group. For information and resources on individuals still unaccounted for or head over to our website at WLOS.com.